Shall we watch ten animals that make swimming extremely dangerous? Swimming, as a concept, is extremely dangerous because of these ten animals. Most people, when asked what the most dangerous creature underwater is, answer... Most dangerous creature underwater. I would probably answer a bull shark. It's a shark. Okay. Sharks have a bad reputation for killing unsuspecting divers whenever the opportunity arises. But did you know that you're actually more likely to be killed by a hippopotamus than a shark? The number Well, that's not true because there's no hippopotamuses where I live. <laughs> so I am most definitely not more likely to die to a hippopotamus than a shark. Because hippos do not live where I do. <laughs> Lionfish. <laughs> okay. The lionfish is characterized by a vi So, I mean, yes, venomous, but also like popular in the aquarium trade, frequently handled, literally everywhere in Florida waters. I don't know that this fish necessarily makes swimming extremely dangerous, but I understand. Visible warning I'll give it a I'll give it a thumbs red, up. White, creamy or black bands, spectacular <laughs> pectoral You say fin. creamy? What? Red, white, creamy or black bands. <laughs> That's not a color, man. Why <laughs> Why did he say red, white, black, or creamy? <laughs> That's not a color, man. <laughs> it's rare when their venom is fatal to healthy adults, but some species have enough venom to cause extreme... Ten animals that make swimming extremely dangerous. They don't even limit themselves to fish. They can choose anything in the ocean that makes swimming dangerous. And they just talked about how it's rarely fatal. Days. Cool. So if you're diving in the Caribbean or Eastern Atlantic, which is where lionfish are found. Oh yeah, once again, not dangerous to me. I don't live in a place where lionfish are. I still recommend you admire these beautiful white striped creatures from a distance. <laughs> the most dangerous thing in water is water. Sea snakes. Uh, okay. Sea snakes are very venomous. Some are That's even true. more venomous than their terrestrial cousins. This isn't terrible. Repeated sea snake, and even if it does bite, it rarely releases venom. What? <laughs> this is the you're talking about the top ten animals that make swimming extremely dangerous. How are you going to put something that avoids people, and even if it does bite, doesn't always give venom? They're cone snail. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. When we think of dangerous animals, valid. most likely snails are very far from the top. Sting yeah, I mean that's that's fair. I'll take I'll take cone snail. I won't. I have nothing to say about cone snails. I would not fuck with a cone snail ever. If I see something even remotely like that, it's a solid fuck off. No shot. Rays. Stingrays Kay. are a group of sea rays. Solid which disagree are with this one. Fish related to sharks. Stingrays are common in coastal, tropical, and sub- Very few stingrays are actually dangerous, and the ones that are have to- uh, I mean, I know it's a big thing because Steve Irwin, but he got really fucking unlucky, you know? No shot, he should have died. I mean, it's just terrible placement. But that's why everyone's afraid of them. Of ...tropical marine waters throughout the world. Stingrays are usually not aggressive and ordinarily attack humans only when provoked, such as when a ray is accidentally stepped on. A stingray injury is <laughs> I don't attack human. Okay, so we're four in, and none of these things actively attack humans. Because reality, nothing actively attacks humans. So the only way that any of these are makes swimming extremely dangerous is if you approach them and put your body near them. Miss tail spines. When they are threatened, they're. Oh yeah, Steve Irwin, his brother. I think it was his brother. Whoever was with him said as Steve Irwin was dying that his main concern was not his health his main concern was that people were going to blame the stingray and be upset about uh, like with the stingray when it wasn't the stingray's fault so you know don't blame stingrays his death became international news and was met with expressions of shock and grief by fans the media governments nonprofit organizations and other celebrities the Great Barracuda. <laughs> Come on. The Great I gotta give a whole thing on Steve Irwin. We all sit here in silence and like respect for Steve Irwin, and then you hit me with the fucking Barracuda that makes swimming dangerous. Also, no. Who has ever just been casually swimming and gets attacked by a fucking Barracuda? Known as the Giant Barracuda, this curious fish willingly approaches divers and is only aggressive when provoked. 
the great bear literally everything has only been aggressive when provoked so th the lesson i'm getting is swimming is not dangerous as long as you don't provoke the animals around you Barracuda can reach a map this is a list of the most dangerous animals if you provoke them which it's really easy not to do. Maximum of two meters in length and 50 kilograms in weight. Such incidents usually consist of a very rapid blow, the result of which can be a <laughs> laceration and a certain loss of tissue. Yeah, fun fact, guys. Most animals will retaliate if you provoke them, if you attack them. <laughs> that doesn't make them dangerous animals. Deaths from barracuda attacks are rare. In what 1947, is this? a death off Is this a pulse with a cross in the middle? What is this image? Key West was attributed to a barracuda. What? Followed by another I feel like that was some like super religious mom thing where she was like, oh yeah, my heart beats for Christianity. <laughs> and he just threw it on screen in the middle of a presentation about the barracuda. What? Case off the coast of North Carolina in 1957. Flower. <laughs> what? as it's capable of delivering extremely painful and medically significant stings when touched. Their spines are their defense mechanisms. Removal of these spines- Say medically significant? What isn't, is like a, a paper cut not medically significant? What is the threshold where something becomes medically significant? What does that mean? From our body parts can be distressing, similar to removing a large splinter. Sea urchin st <laughs> Similar to removing a large splinter, and this is the fourth animal that makes swimming extremely dangerous. Stonefish. Stonefish Thank are you. masters of camouflage. Thank they God. can blend so perfectly with the environment that prey, predators, and wow. even humans. He's not blending that well. It kind of the green spots are sticking out, but he's doing his best. I probably wouldn't see him, but. I wouldn't say he's a master of disguise. <laughs> scuba divers have trouble seeing them at all. Blue ringed octopus. Blue ring okay, first of all, no one has ever just run into a blue ringed octopus and like fucking died while swimming. But at least we're naming dangerous animals. Octopuses are some of the deadliest marine life in the ocean, though they rarely bite humans. They live in tide pools in the they Pacific rarely Ocean bite. between Australia they live in and tide, Japan. So they're in tide pools and they rarely bite. So they rarely interact with humans and they rarely bite humans. If a blue ringed octopus does bite you, you <laughs> I love the stock footage of medical professionals. Because their bites can be fatal in a short amount of time. It's so funny. What, that dude just, if you're what does that have to do with anything? Dude's just staring at what, a bunch of CT scans? By an octopus with a blue ring. First, the venom blocks nerve signals throughout the body, causing muscle numbness. Other symptoms include nausea, we already loss saw of vision, this stock footage. blindness, loss of senses. Buy more stock footage, bro. If you're gonna like fucking clickbait children into watching your videos, the least you can do is buy more stock footage. And loss of motor skills. You don't have to watch the Eventually, same bald guy hang over his bed multiple times. Including the muscles needed for people's breathing. Saltwater yeah. crocodile. <laughs> okay, all right. Best one so far. Fair enough. You know what? I wouldn't say swimming is extremely dangerous, but I certainly would not want to fuck with a saltwater crocodile. Saltwater and the Sundaic region to northern Have Australia you seen how big these Micronesia. things are? Average size males reach 17 feet and 1,000 pounds. Yeah. But specimens 23 feet Look long at that and weighing 2,200 pounds are not uncommon. They are excellent swimmers and have often been spotted far They're out They're fucking at sea. huge. Saltwater crocodiles are opportunistic feeders that prey on a variety of species, from crabs and fish to birds, turtles, pigs, buffalo, and even humans. They communicate using several sounds, including half of these stock hissing. footages, by the way, are not saltwater crocodiles. In fact, most of them are just random crocodiles. Growling and chirps. Chironex. Hold on. Is this the number one? And it's an animal I've never heard of? Chironex is a genus of box jellyfish in the family oh, of Chirodropidae. It's found jellies. in northern Australian waters. I, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I can't argue with that. I didn't know this genus, but I can't really argue with box jellies. Box jellies are pretty fucked up. There's a lot of reasons not to go to Australia. This is one of them. Deaths from Chironex stings in the last 100 years in northern Australia. That's all for now. Um, I'll give this a 4 out of 10. It was not terrible. No, you're right. I'm thinking, like, grand scheme. They didn't 
they didn't mention sea cucumber, they didn't like say the fucking megalodon or anything. But also their entries weren't exactly amazing. I don't know, it was it was decent. We'll call it a decent one. Wow.